will now start with technical session 5 sony singh ma'am will be presenting her presentation good afternoon everyone here myself assistant professor sony singh coordinator of bms and baf department uh, yes as you all know that now i'll be introducing with the technical session 5 okay so you are commencing with the technical session 5 and this is the very last session uh, followed up with the researchers scholars that is the students who all are going to present their papers after me and then one more professor okay to complete up with this uh, technical session uh, yes okay so now proceeding with my research paper uh, yes myself from zed city stakur shyam narayan degree college uh, pro you are presenting my topic of research paper that is a study of consumer preference and buying behavior of garments with reference to selected areas of Mumbai suburban area. Uh, yes, as uh, myself, the assistant professor Sony Singh presenting this paper with the second author that is my mentor, my guide, Dr. Gajanan Sir, Gajanan Varir. Uh, yes, yeah. Here comes with my, my introduction that garment market has undergone remarkable transformation from traditional to modern style. As we all know that how the garment sector is working day by day, day by day tremendously. Okay, so here I have chosen this topic just to come up with the section of buying purchase behavior of the consumers with respect to Mumbai suburban area. Okay. So yes, most consumers have grown up with television, the internet and have been exposed to the standards of living, consumer culture approach and other influence. So it is important to study buying preference and behavior towards garments. Now, continuing with the next slide, that is need of the study. Companies are rigorously working on identifying consumer buying behavior, preferences towards their various garment brands in order to grab larger proportion of the market. Therefore, businessmen or any organization consider it is necessary to study the consumer preference and buying behavior towards various garments. Now, I'll be proving you all my objectives the objectives of the study is to study emphasize on to study consumer buying behavior and the factors which influence the consumer purchase okay yes thank you now next slide that is scope of the study this study will be beneficial to fashion wears for men and women to know about customers buying behavior towards fashion apparels the company can come to know various factors affecting the customer's buying behavior. Company comes to know about customer's expectations and need for future purchases. Get to know demographic of the consumer and potential buyer. Yes. Next, that is hypothesis. I have taken two hypotheses for my study. The very first one is that there is no relationship between age group and wearing preferences. Second, there is no relationship between gender and wearing preferences. So this was my hypothesis continuing with my research methodology. Uh, yeah. In order to study a study of consumer preference and buying behavior of garments with reference to selected area of Mumbai suburban area, will be done on different categories of sorry of data collection for the research, primary data and secondary data. The data, the information has been mentioned below. That is the primary data. Yes, I have framed a structured questionnaire for proving this research paper to know the consumer preference and buying behavior of garments. The target area, that is the survey area, was Andhiri, Korigao, Malaj, Kandivali, and Barimu. Targeted respondents was the age group of 20 to 40, male and female. The population of the universe, that is 300 garments manufacturing SMS in Mumbai suburban area. But the sample size, what I have chosen is 50. Sample selection techniques were Krejis, Morgan table. Sampling technique is area sampling, that is random sampling has been done. Research methodology, that is descriptive and analytical. 
next there is sample area area sampling used in the study a method in which an area to be sampled is subdivided into smaller blocks then they are selected at random and then again subsampled or fully surveyed this method is typically used when a complete frame of reference is not available to be used next that was research design as you as you all have seen that I have just presented the sample study of my research. So here is the research design. What to be planned? A research design is the set of methods and procedures used in collecting and analyzing measures of the variables specified in the research problem. The research design, what I have used is descriptive and analytical. Okay, so proceeding with the next slide that is data analysis uh, as i have told you all that i have chosen two hypotheses for my research paper the very first is that there is no relationship between age group and wearing preferences so uh, definitely the opposite one is that there is relationship between age group and wearing preferences this is the table as per my data collected okay so kindly go through it once uh, nextly that is interpretation of the table is that as the value of the given task square test value is 21.03 with the help of the above table uh, we can say that null hypothesis that there is no relationship is tested with the chi square uh, test with significance level five percent the actual value is less than expected value has result supports the alternative hypothesis hence null hypothesis is rejected and alternate hypothesis has been accepted next hypothesis two that there is no relationship between gender and wearing preferences definitely the opposite one will be that there is relationship between gender and wearing preferences this is the table as per my data collected so now we'll be proceeding with the interpretation so yes from the above table which just now i have displayed it so by reference of that table it has been observed that null hypothesis that there is no relationship between gender and varying preferences is tested with the chi square test table with significance level five percent table shows that p value is 0 0.041 which is less than 0 0.05 hence result supports the alternative hypothesis hence Null hypothesis that is that there is no relationship between gender and wearing preferences is rejected, and alternative hypothesis has been accepted. Therefore, it can be inferred that gender impacts on the wearing preferences. Next, that is the limitation of the study. Uh, yes, as I have told that I have chosen only the way specific area that is Mumbai suburban area. So that is the one of the limitation of my uh, study. Okay, there are many areas, many areas to study. And there are many other sectors also in which we can do the study as well. Okay, other than fashion, other than garments, manufacture, we can study. And in fact, as I have chosen only male and female, so there are, um, hence, again, more other varies and the options to do with the studies. So here, again, consider one of the limitations. Thank you. Coming with the next slide, that is findings. Uh, yes, these are my findings uh, as per my data collected. So kindly go through it that as per my data collected it is garments were consumer buys is 51 uh, percent when fund is available that is 32 percent when fund is available with the consumer and can buy any garment shop that is 12 percent and they choose other options that is 24 percent okay so i'm proceeding with my next slide that is suggestions yes customers buy the apparels when they have ability availability of funds so the garments shops should provide credit facilities of the customers along with emi facilities so availability of funds will not create the hurdle in buying there are many other suggestions also which has been displayed like discounts also have great impact on buying decision so discount should be made available to loyal customers as well as on the occasion like festivals or season sale Coming to the next, uh, that is my conclusion from the research customer preference and buying behavior studied in point of view of garments in Mumbai suburban area. From the analysis, it has been observed that in garment shopping, demographic factors, occupation, price impacts on buying decision, customers expected good quality products along with good quantity. Social media plays an important role in the promotion of the garments. 
this study was restricted to Mumbai suburban area only and garments buying behavior. So there may be different results will be observed in other cities. Overall, it was a learning experience where researcher got an opportunity to understand the customer's preferences and their expectation from garment manufacturing that is industry in Mumbai suburban area. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for listening me so patiently. And uh, thank you for your uh, kind time. Okay. So here, uh, now, as I have completed my session, uh, now the follower researcher, Rudy, will be taking care, taking ahead this session. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for listening me so patiently. Thank you so much, Sony Singh ma'am, for your presentation. It was an amazing presentation. Now, we'll be calling upon Ms. Srishti Kotian for her presentation. This is Srishti Kotian from TYBMS rule number 25, and my research topic is Entrepreneurship Management in Franchise Development. Introduction. J. Shkem Peters' theory of economics means that only innovative firms with substantial resources of intellectual and financial capital can stand up to the global competitions and contribute to economic growth. According to J. Shkem Peter, entrepreneurship may not exist without external capital. As the development of civilization has entered into a hyper-innovative phase, today, today the demand for financial capital is uh, greater than ever. Objectives. Uh, opportunity to base one's business activities on confirmed market uh, concept and unknown brand. Enables to limit the entry barriers and lower the uh, level of risk of running business. Chance to start a business activities also is in case of individual uh, without the proper presentation in terms of knowledge and capacity. Uh, content related technical and or organizations a knowledge uh, provided in the beneficiaries by the franchise. The franchise approach to entrepreneurship. A franchise is an exclusive that is shielding uh, arrangement binding parties using the manufacturer or operating companies and a private distributor, business operator. Uh, franchising has been regarded as a wildest growing and most interesting uh, retailing uh, development in the recent years. Enterprise franchising is the modern concept of in franchising and has essentially uh, proliferated uh, pro in fast food industries. Uh, to study the role of entrepreneurship management in franchise of McDonald's. McDonald's India is a joint venture company managed by Indians. McDonald's India, a sub, uh, subsidiary of McDonald's USA, has extended its presence in India via through uh, via two joint venture companies. McDonald's hire local personnel for a pro uh, position with the restaurant and contributes a uh, position of its success to communities in the form of multiple tax and um, reinvestment. McDonald's uh, worldwide is known for the high degree of respect to local cuisine. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Shrishti Kodian for your presentation. Now, Ms. Dikshita Mali will be presenting her presentation. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dikshita Mali from class TY BMS. I'm here to present my research paper, which is to study the marketing strategies of Wipro Industries with respect to Bangalore. Introduction. Marketing strategy of Wipro analysis, the brand with the marketing mix framework, framework which covers the four P's, product, price, place, and promotion. There are several marketing strategies like product innovation, pricing approach, promotion planning, etc. These business strategies based on Wipro marketing mix help the brand succeed. Wipro marketing strategy helps the brand to position itself completely competitively in the market and achieve its business goals and objectives. Wipro, which is also known as Western India Products Limited in a conglomerate operating worldwide, particularly in the information technology and consultancy sector. It is headquartered in Bangalore in India. Wipro started in the year 1995 as vegetable oil manufacturer and was founded by Mohammad Hashim Premji. 
By 1980s, they entered into the information technology industry. Since then, it has grown exponentially year on year. And currently, Wipro is one of the Fortune 500 companies, headed by one of the eminent industrialist mr premji azim premji and with annual revenues of 50000 plus crores wipro is a giant player in the competitive information technology center objective of the study first the to study the marketing strategies of wipro industries second is identify the key issues which a company faces in marketing activities third is to study the opportunities and challenges faced by a company in order to advertise and promote SWOT analysis of Wipro. First are strengths, diversifies product offerings, early strategic alliances and boosted credibility, multi-domestic market philosophy, stronger dealer community, well-established infrastructure, low price benefits and high quality standards, wide range of development services and one of the top IT companies. Weaknesses. A small player in the global market. Investment in research and development is below the fastest growing op operations. Not a proactive company. Low operating margin of other companies. Opportunities. New company strategy leads to greater profits. Expand from pure tech to a broad-based vendor that solves business problems. Diversify brand products and consultancy service. Huge global market and domestic market. Rising exports from the industry, new varieties of products. Threats, huge competition from its rivals, new entrants, the increasing cost of human capital, rising raw materials, no regular supply of innovative products, shortage of skilled, pro uh, skilled workforce. Wipro has grown immensely and has also received some great opportunities in the market. They should be consistent in their work to overcome threats. Competitors Analysis of Wipro. The major competitors for Wipro are HCL Enterprise, that is Hindustan Computer Limited, SIFI Technologies, Genpact, Entity Data, that is Nippon Telegraph and Telephone Public Corporation, Avanet, IBM, International Business Machines Corporation, Tata Consultancy, Tech Mahindra, HCL Technologies. As we see, Wipro has a major competition in all segments of the market and thus they boost their market share. They come up with various marketing strategies to lead. Now let us have a look at their marketing mix. Product. It is a well-recognized company which provides you with the best products and thus gives solutions in the IT industry. Being one of the largest conglomerates it has several products ranging from automobile consumer goods retail professional services product engineering and many more the product of the pro includes as follows it services business process product engineering service offerings that is consulting and analytics applications which is infrastructure service data is cyber security and mobility price its pricing policy is widespread and diversified as its product portfolio it targets big enterprises from international and domestic which require it services and solutions they have positioned themselves as the company that offers a wide range of services with high quality products place the company operates its headquarters in bangalore it is also incorporated in maharashtra from where it reaches its international market the products related to FMCG are easily available at retail stores, convenience stores, grocery stores and supermarkets as they have a strong, powerful distribution that includes both urban and rural markets. Promotion. Following is the promotional strategy of the company. They spend a lot of revenue on promotional activities to stay ahead of their competitors. The promotion strategy primarily includes television, billboards, radio, magazine and advertisements for consumer durable goods people wipro focuses on buyers and employees have the best of their expertise in the industry it industry recruits from top engineering management universities they hire top human resource consultancy services process process has a combination of expertise and experience to satisfy their clients guarantees free services to staffs and clients they make sure while using the services, the customer doesn't face any issues, maintain high standards and ensure a clear process. 
physical evidence major selective economic zones across india collaboration with various organizations across the globe primary focus on urban cities and metropolitan cities wipro has a rich standing digital presence for us to explore let's understand its digital presence digital media presence a digital presence simply refers to how your business appears online and how you manage to brand your brand on various social media platforms following is the social media presence of wipro facebook linkedin instagram and twitter conclusion wipro is undoubtedly the leading company in india in it technology and has grown immensely over over the last few years the company gives importance to its customers and employees to ensure better services and quality products moreover they have a huge presence on all social media platforms which helps them create strong brand awareness in the market the company is constantly developing and evolving although it is really needs to be more active and innovative to beat its competition in the market thank you Thank you so much Ms Dikshita Mali for your presentation now Mr Deepak Mali will be presenting his presentation Hello my name is Deepak Mali my role number is 27 and and I from class TY BMS to, my topic is startup india and my mentor is Sony Singh Introduction a startup venture could be a defined a new business that is in the initial stage of operation being to grow to a typical finance by a individual or, or, or a small group individuals and my second topic is research and methodology india government has a seriously in promoting entrepreneurship at the start startup level and has taken a number of invites to ensure a support in this aspect it is a relevant to mention make india champ introduction in september 14 to the attra- attract foreign investment and recognize and recognize the companies to participate in the manufacturing me- sector and you see this in example in ppt and third topic is main content it is to be noted that every year more than 800 technology startup are beginning set in a set set up in india by 2020 it is a estimate that around 11500 tech startup are going to establish with the employment potential around 25 lakhs technical people and says 2015 <coughs> and my fourth topic is conclusion the current economic seriously of india is in a expense mode the india government has a in necessarily showing a greater to a increase the gdp rate of growth from grass root levels with the introduction of labor policy and invitation to entrepreneurs like a make in india startup india mudr extra suggestion the primary object of this paper uh, papers to uh, determine whether the finance supportable and adapt for the funding of startups to determine and to study a uh, impact alternative source of finance third example the role of commercial bank in the fu- funding of start up literature review in a business idea has a important role new companies new companies can extend the spectrum some some when we consider them the commercial since they are the promoter of business business focus on idea that has thinking can be filled and filled needed among consumer in many other in many other moved ahead to reach up the skills and have transform the idea to market product with the little short terms <coughs> revenues still others have a moved even further down to a commercial success thank you thank you so much mr deepak mali for your presentation now mr vishal mehta will be presenting his presentation good morning dear ma'am uh, my name is vishal mehta currently i am in ty bms my roll number is 28 i would like to uh, i would like to present you you reliance jio context uh, the context are as follow first introduction on jio infocom uh, uh, basically jio was launched on 27 december 2005 with a beta 4 with the beta 4 uh, partners for partners and employees 
and become publicly and become publicly available to publicly available on 5th December 5th September 2016 uh, it is a largest it is the largest mobile network operating in india and the third largest operating company in in world uh, with the, with the subscriber approximate over uh, about uh, 42.62 crs crs uh, 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 its parent company is Geo Platform and its headquarters is situated in uh, uh, Maker Chamber 4 Triple Two Narimon Point, Mumbai, Maharashtra, India. Let's uh, do the general in introduction of the Geo. Geo was established on 15th uh, February 2000, 2007 after after Reliance became popular in India and in uh, and in other other countries as well as. It it it's uh, it uh, it also it wanted to launch Geo and it launched Geo as the fastest network providing in the country, providing in the country and it also reached in every part of the country, every part of the and every corner of the country. Uh, Geo growth strategies of uh, Geo used in the market. There are basically two strategies which Geo used: uh, unconventional and conventional. Unconventional. Uh, strategies are used as Gurela marketing. Marketing again strategy is known as also known as Gurela marketing strategies. It is used as the surprise to the local public, uh, which Geo uh, introduced as a surprise to the company with its free data and talk time and other products or agencies, all as well as. And the second is unconventional marketing strategy is known as billboards, placard, holding, telephonic. Uh, email, gmails, etc. Let's talk about the growth strategy of Geo, which Geo used in the market acquisition. Acquisition. Uh, customer retention. Uh, customer acquisition. Geo offered free data to the general public in the beginning, uh, and also allowed for on-demand streaming of movies and TVs and music, etc. Uh, easy acquisition, uh, easy activation. Geo also focused on the provider's uh, point of view and uh, and its experience as well as making acquiring SIM cards as a simple, easy process to uh, easy process to uh, activate it. Uh, customer it uh, customer retention second uh, third customer retention. Geo make sure that this early acquisition stayed with the providers and they also come up with the uh, they, to for uh, to let the uh, existing customers to stay with stick to them they also introduce prime membership in which you can you can have a free data uh, more free data the prices were extremely lower as competitive for uh, for the betterment of the sim and uh, it also introduced streamings uh, free music free movies etc Referral marketing Geo does not use referral marketing as its uh, other competitors. It only focuses on mouth to mouth, mouth to mouth marketing and and also a little bit focused on referral marketing. Superior technology. Wait. Uh, superior technology is used to develop. It, it provided provide a product. Uh, superior technology is used to used where product development comes into the picture while all other network providers were busy covering up the investments and the other spectrums and differentiate pricing for voice and data. You had uh, Volte -E with the capability of handling voice calls uh, with the help of data. Now let's talk about the Geo. What are the Geo plans? Geo plans are as follows. Uh, other product, other products and services which have Geo introduced. Uh, Geo introduced its smartphone in the uh, uh, in 2021 and it also introduced its cinema in 2021 uh, with its own mall which is known as geo world mall which is situated in bandra mumbai and it also introduced giga fiber as a broadband connection to the several probably and it, it has a fast ultra fast rate speed as, as said by geo which is also going to introduce 5g network network in india and it, it can maybe the first network provider for a 5G connection in India, and that's our main goal. Let's talk about the impact of Geo on marketing market according to the graph. First, uh, pre Geo, before Geo was launched, there were several 
कंपेटर्स ऑफ जियो लाइक एयरसेल विथ एट पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट भारती एयरटेल एट ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट एट परसेंट एंड अदर्स एट ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट टू परसेंट वोडाफोन इंडिया एज नाइनटीन पॉइंट वन परसेंट आइडिया एट सेवेंटीन पॉइंट वन परसेंट बी एस एन एल एयरटेल नाइन पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट दैट टाइम भारतीय एयरटेल वॉज लीडिंग द मार्केट एंड आफ्टर जियो वॉज लॉन्च सम ऑफ द कंपनीज merge with them like uh, at uh, vodafone and idea merged together and it formed it 38.4% bharti airtel uh, its leading point at 29.8% reliance jio at 19.6% and other companies like bsnl uh, airsel mtnl etc 12.2% i hope you like the presentation thank you Thank you so much, Mr. Vishal Mehta, for your presentation. Now, Mr. Meet Mehta will be presenting his presentation. Hello, my name is Meet Mehta. I am from TYBMS, and I am going to present a presentation on impact of plastic money usage on consumer spending behavior. Introduction: Money is regarded as a medium of exchange and payment tool. Initially, barter system was utilized as the significant mode of payment. Over the years, money has traumatized its form from coins to paper, cash, and today it is available in formless form as electronic money or plastic card. Plastic cards are one of those types of innovations through which the customers can make utilization of banking services just by owning the card issued by bank and that too without restricting himself in the official banking hours. With hundreds and millions of credit cards in circulation today. these plastic cards have become a way of life india alone is home to millions of them initially situated as a status symbol these plastic cards have caught on in a big way amongst the educated population of the country extending credit to their customers has always been a profoundly prevalent practice the plastic can be credit cards or debit cards charge and visa offer excess of an approach to get to cash without hefting around money on a cumbersome checkbook plastic money as the name suggests the money made of plastic an easy way to make payment in exchange of goods and services to reduce the use of cash the concept of plastic money came into existence in 1900 used in usa so basically this is the research design a research design typically includes how data is to be collected what instrument is to be employed and how the instrument is to be used and intended means for analyzing data collect descriptive research design is adopted because it aims to study the demographic characteristics of customers who avails the services of plastic cards the descriptive research design typically concerned with determining frequency with which something occurs or how two variables preference and satisfaction level vary together today plastic form of money is common in most of the developed countries and are gaining acceptance in many developing and underdeveloped countries too plastic money has all advantages of coins and paper money it differs from other existing forms of money in various ways the source of data used in this project report are both primary and secondary data so primary data primary data consists of original information gathered from sample size of 100 respondents residing in mumbai india secondary data consists of information that already exist and that was collected in the past for some other purposes it cannot be copied modified or double sent so properties of plastic money are given below each card is unique and different privacy of the user is protected customer can perform activities anonymously no third party is necessary the customer has direct link with the user plastic money can be transferred to any other user and the personal identification number is shared so disadvantages of using plastic money cards get into wallet effectively crime percentages will diminish using plastic money gives credit office following exchanges turns out to be simple zero percent installment alternatives so disadvantages are as below simply plastic cash won't help constantly plastic money is not likewise 100% safe least by prerequisites administration charge in specific cases card can also get harmed interest for non installment purposes 
थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच मिस्टर मीत मेहता फॉर योर प्रेजेंटेशन नाउ मिस्टर दीपक मिश्रा विल बी प्रेजेंटिंग हिज प्रेजेंटेशन Uh, hello my name is Deepak I am from TY BMS my roll number is 13 and uh, today I am presenting the research on the amul product in this uh, we know about the amul uh, company we know about the uh, wide revelations uh, we know about the amul product so let's get started with the introductions jo uh, amul company hai it was started in the year 1946 by the tribhuvan das by the tribhuvan das in the uh, Kira district in in the Kira district of the Gujarat, but before that, before that in the 1942, uh, the British the British ne order diya tha Paulson Butter Bread Company ko for the milk, with the conditions with the condition that only Paulson brand butter bread butters have the right to sell the milk in the area of Gujarat Anand. So us time pe kya hua tha all the farmers was All the farmers was in the problem because of the monopoly of uh, Paulson brand butter. Paulson brand butter के पास ही monopoly थी because it was the conditions of the uh, Bombay Milk Scheme. Uh, it was the agreement with the Paulson brand butters and the Britishers to supply the milks to the Britishers because जो Britishers के officers थे वो लोगों को एक non hygiene milk मिल रहा था जिसको पीने की वजह से ऑल दी ब्रिटिश वॉज फेसिंग द इलनेस एंड दी समार दी फेसिंग द फूड पॉइजन्स सो ये प्रॉब्लम को रोकने के लिए पॉलिसन ब्रांड बर्डर से वो लोग ने कॉन्ट्रैक्ट साइन किया तो वो लोग को बॉम्बे हर दिन कुछ लीटर दूध मिलता था सो so, उसके बदले पॉन्सल को एक राइट मिला कि सिर्फ वही उस एरिए में है उसका ही मोनोपोली चलेगा फॉर द सेलिंग ऑफ द मिल्क एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ऑल दी फार्मर्स वॉज गेटिंग द वेरी लो वेरी लो मनी बिकॉज वेरी लो मनी फॉर देर मिल्क इसके वजह से वो लोग अपना प्रॉब्लम जो है सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल के पास लेके गए एंड आफ्टर द हियरिंग ऑल दिस ऑल दी प्रॉब्लम सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल गिविंग द सोल्यूशन देर इज द ओनली वन सोल्यूशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट द फेयर प्राइज यू हैव टू रिमूव द मिडल मैन फ्रॉम फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम द सप्लाई चैन तो सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल को मालूम था कि ये ही प्रॉब्लम है बट ऑल द Uh, all the farmers was not so powerful because uh, the British ruler uh, ruler area. उनके पास इतना power नहीं था. Britishers के पास ज़्यादा power था. तो उस time पे सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल जी ने एक slogan दिया. Remove the Paulson. Paulson को हटा दो. So Paulson को हटाने के लिए एक cooperative group बनाना बहुत ज़रूरी था. वो cooperative वो वो cooperative group को वो कोऑपरेटिव ग्रुप को लीड करने वाले का नाम था मोराज जी देसाई मोराज जी देसाई प्रधानमंत्री भी थे देश के फ्यूचर में जाके वो देश के प्रधानमंत्री भी बने पर उसके पहले सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल जी ने उनको ये काम दिया था कि आप ये जो कोऑपरेटिव है उसको आप रन करो लेकिन उसको रन करने के पहले सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल ने यह बोला भी था कि फॉर वाइल द रनिंग ऑफ दिस कोऑपरेटिव will face the some conditions the 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 conditions of money the face the condition of money bahut paise ki zarurat padegi tumko paise ke beech mein problems aayenge tumhare upar pressures aayega so you have to face all the issues so all the possibilities all the conditions was kept by the sardar wallabh sardar wallabh bhai patel in front of the farmers before start the cooperative to sardar wallabh bhai patel ke baad se sab agree ho ke jitne bhi farmers the दे ऑल आर एग्री विद दी सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल वर्ड्स बिकॉज दे हैव ऑलरेडी फेस दी मैनी प्रॉब्लम्स दे हैव ऑलरेडी फेस दी मैनी लॉसेज इन दी पास सो दे वॉन्ट अ बेटर फ्यूचर तो वो लोग सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल की बात को एग्री कर गए सो आफ्टर दी एग्री ने सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल जी ने ये काम जो है वो मोराज जी देसाई को हैंड ओवर कर दिया और जब मोराज जी देसाई ने कोऑपरेटिव कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी जो कोऑपरेटिव है फॉर द मिल्क आनंद ये फाउंड करना स्टार्ट कर दिया तो वो लोग ने एक धरना दिया एक स्ट्राइक दिया वो स्ट्राइक फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन डेज चला आई थिंक इन दर नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स वो स्ट्राइक हुआ था इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स में वो स्ट्राइक ना फिफ्टीन डेज चला था और टिल फिफ्टीन डेज नॉट अ सिंगल ड्रॉप ऑफ द सिंगल ड्रॉप ऑफ द मिल्क वॉज सोल्ड टू दी पॉलसन ब्रांड बटर तो जब पॉलसन ब्रांड बटर को सप्लाई मिलना बंद हो गया था सो दे यह सप्लाई ऑल्सो स्टॉप टू दी बॉम्बे बॉम्बे ब्रिटिश ब्रिटिशर्स के पास उनका सप्लाई नहीं जा रहा था सो आफ्टर हियरिंग दी प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ दी शॉर्ट ऑफ सप्लाई 
the commissioner of the milk with the deputy commissioner they reached in gujarat keria district to find the solution and negotiation with the farmers so negotiation to ho nahi paya to uske baad jo unke sath deputy commissioner tha jo deputy jo deputy commissioner tha unke sath pe jo deputy commissioner tha unke sath mein unhone kya bola commissioner ko so they are the farmers they don't know even to speak the english properly so how they can run the so so be cooperative for the long period of time तो उसके बाद जो कमिश्नर ऑफ दी मिल्क था वो बोला कि ठीक है तुम शायद सही बोल रहे हो लेट्स एंड द स्ट्राइक एंड एक्सेप्ट द डिमांड सो डिमांड फार्मर्स का ये था कि वो लोग को उनका जो दूध है उनका जो मिल्क है गवर्नमेंट उनसे डायरेक्टली परचेस करे उनको कोई मिडल मैन नहीं चाहिए था सो आफ्टर आफ्टर एक्सेप्टिंग द डिमांड आफ्टर एक्सेप्टिंग द डिमांड वो लोग का मिडल मैन हर दिखा था सो दे आर गेटिंग द बेटर इनकम सो आफ्टर एक्सेप्टिंग द डिमांड डिरेक्टली एक कॉपरेटिव ग्रुप फाउंड हुआ द नेम ऑफ द कॉपरेटिव ग्रुप वॉज द नेम ऑफ द कॉपरेटिव द नेम ऑफ द कॉपरेटिव द नेम ऑफ द कॉपरेटिव ग्रुप ऑफ द केरिया डिस्ट्रिक्ट कॉपरेटिव मिल्क प्रोड्यूसर यूनियन लिमिटेड ये ग्रुप फाउंड हुआ आफ्टर द फाउंडिंग ऑफ दिस ग्रुप जितने भी विलेजर्स में जितने भी आसपास के गाँव में फार्मर्स थे दे ऑल आर गैदर्ड एंड दी ज्वाइन दिस ग्रुप आफ्टर द ज्वाइनिंग दिस ग्रुप बाय द लार्ज नंबर ऑफ द फार्मर्स ये लोग का जो मिल्क प्रोड्यूसिंग था वो काफ़ी ज़्यादा बड़ा हो गया काफ़ी ज़्यादा काफ़ी तेज़ी से ग्रो हुआ एट दैट एरिया दे आर द हायर मिल्क प्रोड्यूसर तो गवर्नमेंट को इस लोग से प्रॉफिट भी हो रहा था और इनको भी गवर्नमेंट से प्रॉफिट हो रहा था सो आफ्टर सेंग दिस आफ्टर सेंग दिस दे आर रजिस्टर्ड दे आर केरिया डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन दर नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स और नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट टू नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट से लेकर नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन के बीच में नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट से लेकर नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन के बीच में दे आर दी इंडिया नंबर वन मिल्क प्रोड्यूसिंग कंपनी सो अगर ऑल्सो दे हैव दी हायर नंबर ऑफ द सप्लाई फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर इनको डिमांड है थ्री हंड्रेड लीटर्स का तो दे हैव दी सप्लाई पावर ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड लीटर्स सो so, ये टाइम पे ये टाइम पे इन द ईयर ऑफ 1949, 1949 दे हैव रिमूव्ड, दे हैव मेक द प्रोडक्ट नेम द मिल्क पाउडर मिल्क से ही मिल्क पाउडर दिस वाज अ वेरी न्यू इन इंडिया सो काफ़ी लोगों को इसके बारे में नहीं मालूम था सो so, इनका जो ये प्रोडक्ट है इज गिव द हाईएस्ट बूस्ट टू दी आनंद कोऑपरेटिव एक आनंद कोऑपरेटिव को भी हाइएस्ट बूस्ट दिया इसने ये मिल्क पाउडर ने उसके बाद बटर घी काउ देसी घी काउ ताज़ा घी तो ये सब इनके प्रोडक्ट्स थे उस टाइम 1949 फोर्टी नाइन नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज़ के टाइम पे 1949 फोर्टी नाइन के टाइम पे ये इनके आइटम्स थे सो फॉर एग्जांपल आफ्टर ये हुआ तो जब श्री लाल बहादुर शास्त्री लाल बहादुर शास्त्री जब प्रधानमंत्री बने देश के ये नाइनटीन आई थिंक नाइनटीन Uh, 1964 में तो ही विजिटेड टू दी गुजरात केरिया डिस्ट्रिक्ट टू सी दी अमूल कोऑपरेटिव बिकॉज टू सी दी अमूल कोऑपरेटिव बिकॉज ही बिकॉज ही बिकॉज ही सॉ दी द मैनी फार्मर्स लाइफ एंड लिविंग कंडीशन वॉज चेंज बिकॉज ऑफ दी अमूल सो ही वॉन्टेड दी अमूल कोऑपरेटिव कोऑपरेशन टू ऑल ओवर दी इंडिया सो सो उन्होंने क्या स्टार्ट किया एक uh, तो so, उन्होंने क्या स्टार्ट किया एक मूवमेंट चालू किया मूवमेंट फ्लड फ्लड करके उन्होंने एक ऑपरेशन चालू किया ऑपरेशन फ्लड वो फ्लड का मतलब वो फ्लड का रीजन ये था कि ये जो फार्म ये दो ये जो फैसिलिटीज और ये जो इन प्रॉफिट मिल रहा है फार्मर्स को वो ऑल ओवर इंडिया मिले तो वो लोग ने फ्लड स्टार्ट किया और बिकॉज ऑफ दी ऑपरेशन फ्लड इंडिया में वाइट रेवोल्यूशन आया एंड दिस लीड्स दी इंडिया नंबर वन मिल्क प्रोड्यूसिंग कंट्री और मिल्क प्रोड्यूसिंग कंपनी कंट्री यू कैन से वॉट एवर सो दिस बिकम्स द वाइट रेवोल्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया एंड द फादर ऑफ द वाइट रेवोल्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया इज डॉक्टर वर्गेश कुरियन उनकी वजह से ही ये सब पॉसिबल हुआ और इन द लीडरशिप वॉज डॉक्टर इन द लीडरशिप वॉज मोरारजी देसाई मोरारजी देसाई और आफ्टर डैट टुडे द प्रोफाइल आफ्टर डैट डे टूडे द प्रोफाइल ऑफ द अमूल प्रोडक्ट अमूल प्रोडक्ट कंपनी इज योर इंडस्ट्रीज नेम द अमूल प्रोडक्ट कंपनी 
founded in the year 1946 it was actually registered in the year 1946 founded is uh, it was oh, actually it was uh, registered in the year 1946 it was founded uh, two years before 1946 uh, areas of worldwide all over the world india all over the world uh, amul has more than 100 items it supplies more than 100 items all over the world and the revenue is uh, 5.1 billion us dollar which as per 2020 reports but now it has a value of more than 400 billion more than four uh, 410 billion uh, uh, so it's mean it has more than 5.2 or 5.3 billion dollar number of the employees 100 marketing arms 3.6 million milk producing company so uh, so they have this uh, amul company profile 1966 amul hired the do Chinna, it was the managing director at that time. Uh, the, uh, so he was the so successful director of the Amul uh, in that time. It was the camping in the world world in 1980s cartoons after Kumar Mori and the script writer rejected their trend of the using celebrities in advertisement camping. Uh, So it was a Amul company profiles. So this is the some products of the Amul products, um, milk powder, uh, wheat, fresh milk, crude products, uh, then chocolates, brownie beverage, milk. Uh, yeah, this is the sales turnover of the Amul. Uh, as you can see in, from the year 1940, 1994, 1995 uh, till the 2020, 2021, the number was keep on increasing, keep on increasing, keep on increasing from 355 uh, US dollar uh, in million uh, till 5300 million dollar. This is a sales turnover of the amount from the year 1994 to 2021 some data analysis and interpretations uh, some questions uh, some questions was asked by the consumer so how they see the amul product how they use uh, how much liter they use what pouch they prefer this all all types of questions was taken from the consumer the very first question in pouch milk which brand do you prefer some people are good for the amul mother dairy some other some of others um, so what do you like the price of the products uh, uh, price of the what do you think the price of the product in of amul is low to compare to the other products the maximum number of people goes with yes and the many many also don't know because they uh, they never uh, remember the price while purchasing the products Uh, uh, next question uh, if you buy the Amul milk pouch which pack do you purchase the maximum number of people goes with Amul Taza Amul Slim and Trim Amul, uh, the Amul Slim and Trim actually have the very low number of fat so it was consumed by the fitness people more by the fitness people more Do you like the creativity of the Amul advertisement? Uh, yes, it was the very uh, important question and very good question. Uh, do you like the creativity? The, the song, the song of Amul Dood Pita Hai India. It showed the all the sports personality, all the celebrity personality, all the childrens, all the young age, all the old people. All the people are consuming Amul products very, very properly, very confidently, very safely, and very healthy. So this uh, and so this ad was was a very big push to the Amul productions or uh, to the Amul sales to the Amul distribution. It was a very good ad, and till now the people are like people like this ad too much. So question number fifth Amul tagline is Amul Dud Pita Hai India or then Amul Dud Pilata Hai India. It was Amul Dud Pita Hai India. The other questions is what is the total consumption of milk in a per day? Some uh, the maximum number uh, the maximum the maximum number of household is one liter per day. 
and then 1.5 with 2 percent 2 liter 3 liter 4 liter 5 liter that's it what is the full form of the amul uh, the 20 32 percent uh, no 82 percent uh, they are confused because they are they don't know the full form of the amul is uh, and the only 14 percent people confuse and the 52 percent people don't know the answer and 32 percent people know the answer consumer opinions towards the amul products the maximum number 45 percent people say it was excellent of uh, 25 percent people say it's good 21 say fair and 9 percent say i don't like because of the amul which revolution came into the india it was the wide revolutions uh, uh, to some people are confused about the dairy revolutions are com confused in white revolution dairy revolution it's a white revolution in India what is a Sanskrit name of the Amulya yes the Sanskrit name of the um, Amul is Amulya the Amulya means uh, the very pure the very very pure very natural and very powerful it's the name of the Amul the name is Amulya. Yeah, so that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Deepak Mishra, for your presentation. Now, Ms. Sejal Pal will be presenting her presentation. Good afternoon, one and all. I am Sejal Pal from TYBMS, and the research topic is to study the integrated marketing communication strategy of Walmart and its effect on retail sector. So, moving further with the introduction. Walmart Incorporated is the leading American public corporation that has the biggest chain of public port and the largest departmental stores chain in the world. The port was innovated in 1962 by Sam Walton. He was an American businessman born in Kingfisher. He opened the first Walmart store, also among the world's largest public port in terms of profit. Also, in the recession period, the port was the biggest employer in 2007 to 2009 in the world that employing people. Walmart is the largest grocery retailer in the United States with the estimated 20 of the retail grocery and consumables business, as well as the largest toy dealer in the US. It also owns and operates the North American company. Further on, objective of studies, to study the managerial skills and retaining customers. How Walmart is retaining their customers in terms of profit as well as the loyalty to study the marketing strategy of Walmart across the world, analyzing the impact of Walmart if entered in an Indian market. Walmart key objective, the client is concentrated in the first idol. Whomsoever the client or the customer is, Walmart aims to target and to, became, and to make the customer loyal treating every other as you would like to be treated. Respect for the individual. Developing IMC plan. To develop its IMC plan, Walmart uses cognitive response proposition to measure the studies and passions of its guests, feeding to them in the stylish possible manner and thus managing establishing itself as a giant retailer that the world knows. Workers take pride to be the part of it and consumers enjoy shopping with their family happily. As Walmart aims to be the one of the largest retail sector, owning with the largest brand among the world. Features of Walmart, the only port to give the goods and services at the cheapest mode possible. They have their own broadcasting satellite and are suitable to break queries votably and fluently. They always hire complete motorists so that no violation of business pass and the goods are being transported safely. Walmart Global Sourcing in India How India has been taking part into the Walmart that is global sourcing has given Indian manufacturers a way to sell their products including apparel, homeware, jewellery, hardlines and more in overseas markets all over globally. Walmart Global Tech India Walmart Global Tech is the where the technology is built to help customers worldwide in the teams in Chennai and Gurugram are engaged in creating cutting-edge engineering and product development solutions to Walmart and offering customers help anywhere, anytime shopping experience. Moving further with the conclusion, Walmart has dealt with marketing and promotional rudiments successfully. 
quite a good degree in its home state the corporation has a commitment to business excellence walmart entry in india would lead to shut down the grocery stores local vendors and roadside peddlers as walmart gives the low price to all the customers with the good quality people will automatically will get to attract to the walmart and though the grocery store the roadside peddlers and everyone would have to shut their business so this was the conclusion of the research paper thank you so much Thank you so much Ms Sejal Pal for your presentation it was a fabulous presentation now Mr Rajbir Singh will be presenting his presentation Good morning my name is Rajbir Singh Pannu I am from class TY BMS my roll number is 34 my topic for the day is entrepreneurship management in franchise development So the abstract for the topic is diversifying is an idea by which autonomous substances set up upon common participation as a piece of which the franchisor moves onto the franchisee In return for a fitting expense, the formula for a specific business action and how it ought to be worked. The connections between those substances depend on an agreement and lead to the making of an establishment organization comprising of elements that are free lawfully, as far as possession and monetarily, who are simultaneously homogeneous according to a perspective of those buying, offer items, or administration. The center sort of substances. that work as franchisees in larger part of organizations are miniature little and medium sized ventures who view the diversifying idea as an incredible chance of getting support towards their pioneering exercises the keywords for the topic are entrepreneurship franchisee development innovation competitiveness and standards concept of franchisee the english word franchising and franchisee come from the old french word or franchise that means respectively to free or to exam in the early period they denoted a privilege or a special right such as exemption from a tax custom duties or vassalage or freedom from feudal power the term franchise entered officially use in the 12th because of the chapter because of the charts they franchise on the strength of which church and secular rules guaranteed are subjects the right to use forests in return for payments in cash or services towns and guilds were granted privileges that limited the power of feudal lords over them the and merchants and craftsmen were authorized to hold markets and fairs importance of franchisee in entrepreneurship development the improvement of business ventures in the sme area is firmly connected with the arrival of private drive and scholarly movement that spotlights on producing abundance through the collaboration of appropriately joined ascending factors it is straightforwardly connected to taking advantage of chance and staying away from the market dangers execution of ground breaking through and advancements just as preparation to go ahead with reasonable course of action research methodology individual relationship with the organization empowering to assemble the material important to lead further investigation generally significant stretch of working and considerable experience of the organization inside the establishment of it. working a business on a limited scale and the reality that the business can be delegated a miniature undertaking conclusion for the topic is diversifying is an exceptionally interesting idea of creating business at regard to the sme area its fundamental advantage is incorporate having the option to base the business procedure on a demonstrated market idea and a refer to market just as critical substances related specialized and authoritative help gave by the franchise such advantages have additionally been seen in the organization exposed to exact exploration connected with the subject talked about and discussed thank you that was my talk thank you so much mr rajveer singh for your presentation now mr harsh patel will be presenting his presentation hello everyone my name is harsh patel and my topic is entrepreneurship management in e-commerce sector as we have seen many after covid many significant enterprises education yoga session and music school have went online managing a business has been difficult at first since firm had to utilize a whole different mean of communicating with customers
to manage CRM as well as completely different strategy to keep customer and to maintain market position. First of all, let me tell what let me tell you what is e-commerce. It is defined as the purchase and selling of product and services through internet in an electronic environment give rise to the notion of e-commerce. E-commerce as a concept is an invention that arose the arose with the growth of communication and com computer technology and facilitate trades. Although e-commerce is a new idea, it's not only provide an alternative to traditional commerce, but it also serves as a way that now complement and facilitates business. However, in the long term, these tactics will be replaced by e-commerce. Uh, different person and organization have been characterized e-commerce in various ways. E-commerce as defined by the World Trade Organization, that is WTO, defined e-commerce that e-commerce e is the production, advertising, sales and distribution of product and services over telecommunicating network. The organization of e-commerce, the organization for e Economic Cooperation and Development, that is OECD, define e-commerce as any business transaction involving one person and organization that are based on processing and communicating of digitalized text, audio and pictures. According to United Nations and or according to United Nations for Trade Facilitates and Electronic Business, that is UNCEFACT, define e-commerce as e-commerce is the exchange of structured or unstructured business information between producer, consumer, public organization and other organization using electronic devices such as electronic mail, intelligent card, electronic fund transfer, exchanging data, etc. and many more. The objective of research is Comprehensively understand of the e-commerce ecosystem, comprehensively comprehend the web marketplace, identifying changes in business as a result of electronic trade, to research the rising internet business, investigate the various methods of dissemination. dissemination. First of all, let me tell you what is business to business electronic com commerce, which is B2B. Business to business e-commerce refer to economical economic operation undertaken between firm in an electronic setting. The first model to arise in the electronic world was the B2B model. The goal of the B2B model is to assure product, services and information sales using and sharing through the integration of automated system into the, uni into the units where the shared enterprises are done. Producer, producer company, supplier company, dealer, store, department, etc. It may also be defined from a business standpoint as sending order to supplier in an electronic environment, obtaining invoices and payment their ex expenses. Because of the use of virtual environment in business to business commerce, the relationship between the seller and the client has altered dramatically. Because relationship no longer rely on paper and labor because have business have gained speed on and time by fulfilling essential formalities in record time. According to studies, the percentage of business to business commerce is realized is realized that the percentage of business to business e-commerce is bigger than the business to consumer commerce. Now, what is consumer to consumer electronic Commerce, that is C to C. Consumer, that is individual or household, communicate with one another, with one another, and engage in economic activities in this model. This model parties are buyer, seller, and middleman using the internet platform. This middleman business or person develops the environment because of the environment operates in the manner of a virtual operation. It is also known as e-virtual operation. The goal of virtual company is to recruit member and earn money by from those member seller place their goods or services for sale in the virtual market created by the virtual firm and buyer choose among the goods and services for sale and do business in an electronic environment this concept is applied in variety of context ranging from buying and selling of second hand product to software market 
the website www.ebay.com that we, uh, we we all have heard about it is regarded as the most successful example of c2c model in the world wide the website realized trade volume the website released trade volume over 60 million that is 6060 million dollars with 84 million users worldwide the corporation has also entered the turkish turkish market by buying gtdr.com when compared to other form of electronic commerce consumer to consumer electronic commerce is the most widely utilized short of e-commerce market now we talk about b2g market that is business to government electronics the earliest instant of this segment which involves commercial in interaction between enterprises and government and public organization are public tenders released on on the internet and by filed by firm in an electronic environment monitoring taxes social securities statics and permits in an electronic environment compilation of some custom transaction and permit in an electronic environment compilation of such customer transaction over the internet publication of, of public bids and other application are example of business to government e-commerce now we talk about consumer to government e-commerce that is c2g it in it encompasses all transa transaction ta taxation medical and legal interaction between the consumer customer and the environment passages to electronic government is planned for numerous application such as driving license passport application social security premium and tax payment and so on in this category which does not yet have widely used instead a website dedicated to consumer protection and rights guaranteed that a benefit is created by pushing forward consumer rights on the one hand and setting the regulation involved by the government on other hand now we talk about b2c that is business to consumer electronic commerce this is the most common and kind of electronic trade trade companies have begun to offer a wide range range of things in electronic market from computers to automobiles books to food uh, use, using virtual store software etc along with the grow, growing usage of gsm web technology has also been developed and transferred into a suitable environment for electronics commerce that, that is free of location and time constraint this is the most common kind of electronic trade company have begun to offer a wide range of things in the electronic environment from computers to automobiles books to food and many other etc as we have seen earlier now what is conclusion conclusion the uh, conclusion as we got that commerce has been around for thousand of years e-commerce has commerce has been around for thousand of year however in recent year the tradition commerce structure have begun to shift in lockstep with technology tradition marketing and business making approaches are changing as a result of the internet and marketing activities undertaken in an ele electronic environment are steadily rising this shift in e accomplished not via the abolition of tradition marketing function but through their extreme divergence many processes that are carried out face to face manually in tradition market have begun to be carried out in an electronic setting further attempting are uh, being made to develop complementary face to face procedure which may be uh, unavailable in an electronic setting at times or to compensate of their absence in today world where information technology are gaining importance by day by day the leather business and the grocery business have also been increasing many many business have been also been increasing day by day that's it thank you for giving your time thank you thank you so much mr harsh patel for your presentation now ms srishti pradhan will be presenting her presentation my name is srishti pradhan my topic is to study the annual report of hindustan unilever my mentor name is sony singh here is the introduction of an hindustan unilever 
Hindustan Unilever starts in India in 1931. Unilever set up its first Indian subsidiary. Hindustan Unilever is a public company with over 85 years of heritage in India. Hindustan Unilever is a faster fa India largest moving consumer goods company. Sanjeev Mehta is the CEO of Hindustan Unilever. He is the chair and managing director of Hindustan Unilever Limited. It was renamed from Hindustan Vanaspati Manufacturing Company to Hindustan Unilever Company. The company was renamed in June 2007 as Hindustan Unilever. As of 2019, Hindustan Unilever portfolio had 44 products brands in categories. It's headquartered in Mumbai. Hindustan Unilever is a part is a part of the fastest moving consumer goods. So, and here are the objectives of Hindustan Unilever. During pandemic, their, their focus continues to be on improving people's health and safety. The company has set three main goals achieved by 2020 to help 1 billion people improve their health and well-being to improve livelihood of hundreds of thousands of people in the supply of chain. To analyze the what customer buy, where they shop through online or from direct shop or for better supply its mission is to give people to meet everyday needs of nutrition hygiene and personal care products launching innovation building awareness through communication here is the research methodology on hindustan unilever the research is made to know about the various products of Hindustan Unilever and how preference consumer overrate the product. Through primary survey questions, we get to know about the view of people that how people manage their needs by staying at home with protection and what benefit they get. The research analysis was made by made about the time of pandemic that how the company faced the challenge during COVID-19 through various research advertisement news articles survey from this we come to know about in one conclusion the report is dedicated to secondary information about company profile and various decisions taken by the company during pandemic situation here is the survey questions relating to pandemic at the time of pandemic that what people prefer and who they are know about are, first question is, are you aware about the products of personal care of Hindustan Unilever? Second is, does Hindustan Unilever Limited ensure complete satisfaction? How do you know about this product of Hindustan Unilever? Do you like the changes made in the name of skincare product of Fair and Lovely to Glow and Lovely? And the last question is, at the time of COVID pandemic, which mode of grocery shopping do you like? Here is the data analysis on the basis of survey questions where 47% of male and 53% of female responses are there. We can see that the 86% people are aware about the personal care products of Hindustan Unilever and 40% people are not aware about the product about the products of personal care. How do you know about the product of Hindustan Unilever? As we can see that 47% people are aware about Hindustan Unilever product through advertisement, 33% 30% people aware about through television and 23% people are aware about through internet of Hindustan Unilever products. Does people like the changes made in the name of Fair and Lovely? from fair and lovely to glow and lovely as we can see that in graph that changes made in the name of skincare product 63 percent people like the changes made in the name of product where 37 percent people don't like the changes made in the name of product and the last slide of the does hindustan unilever complete satisfaction 73% people are satisfied with the Hindustan Unilever and 27% are not. During the time of pandemic, we can see that 
60% uh, people prefer online shopping for uh, personal care products from grocery shopping, whereas 40% people direct to shop from stores. Here is a complete survey of the, and here we come on findings and suggestions of Hindustan Unilever. On the basis of research, I came to know that Hindustan Unilever is the largest player in FMCG company in the country and has one of the widest portfolios. The product portfolio of the company includes how household and personal care products like soap, detergent, shampoos, skincare products, color cosmetics, deodorants, and water purifier. It is also a building great reputation among the existing manual water purifiers in the market. HUL enjoys a formidable distribution network covering over 3,400 distribution and 60 million outlets. And here we come on one conclusion about the Hindustan Unilever. Companies having good position in the market, they are offering quality products in market. Unilever has over past Five years been actively in involved setting standard for social and environmental behavior with 400 brands spanning 14 categories of home, personal care and food products. No other company touches so many lives in so many different ways. They continuously de de developing new and improved products. They are sharing innovations and concept with business all around the world. Further research in this field could look at strategies that multinational and large corporations could adapt to sustain and com protect their core competencies in preamble market segments. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Shrishti Pradhan, for your presentation. Now, Ms. Shweta Singh, ma'am, will be presenting her presentation. Good afternoon to one and all present here, I, Assistant Professor Shweta Singh, going to present my research paper on topic to study the integrated view of rural entrepreneurship. So as we proceed with my introduction, and the introduction of my topic is, the entrepreneurs are the people who create and grow entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurship is a process through which entrepreneurs create and grow enterprises entrepreneurship development refers to the infrastructure of public and private policies and practice that foster and support entrepreneurship there are a few objective of rural entrepreneurship the first one is to study the creation of self-employment to study the situation of working women located in areas research methodology the research design of this study is exploratory in nature. The literature was searched with the help of various related keywords like rural entrepreneurship, rural development through entrepreneurship, employment generation and entrepreneurship, employability and entrepreneurship, etc. Review journal were found appropriate for this article. The qualitative analysis of existing literature is done with the help of software. There are a few significance of rural entrepreneurship. First is, India is principally an aggregate economy. About three-fourths of the Indian population live in a country out of which 75% remains earning its livelihood from agriculture and its allied activities. There is a wide gap between the economic activities of the rural and urban people. Moreover, the growth in agriculture sector is much slower than industry, which widens the income level gap between both. There is a need of the rural development, which can be best done through rural entrepreneurship. Findings. It is now where found that rural entrepreneurship has generated employment in India. It is evident that Major beneficiaries of rural entrepreneurship are women. Regional development will have taken place due to rural entrepreneurship. In order to solve the problem of marketing for rural industries, common production come making centers needs to be set up and developed with the modern infrastructure facilities, particularly in the areas having the good production and growth.
conclusion raw material is a must of for any industries however the non availability of raw materials accompanied by their prohibited cost have weakened the viability of these industries past experience bears evidence that rural industries with employment potential cannot be sustained for long unless a strong raw material base is created in rural area itself therefore an urgent policy is called the strengthen the raw material based in rural areas finance is considered as a lubricant for setting up and running on industry funds therefore need to be made available on time at soft terms and condition to those who really need it thank you so much for giving your precious time thank you so much shweta ma'am for presenting your research paper it was a very nice presentation before moving ahead with the felicitation program we will be having a lunch break now thank you